We are very excited at Averill Park High School that one of the areas that we are focusing on in this upcoming capital project is our construction technology space. Um, over the past several years, this is one of our programs that has experienced one of the largest increases in student enrollment. Uh, in fact, this year, we actually needed to run two full sections of Construction Technology 2, uh, which is a half-day course that we run at the high school every other day. Uh, so this is a sequence and a course and a program that's become extremely popular, um, and it currently works in a space that hasn't really been updated uh, for several decades. Um, here at the high school. Our construction technology program at this point is one of the largest in the capital region in terms of student enrollment. Um, and our enrollment continues to grow each year. One of the areas that we are very excited about with regards to this upcoming uh, portion of the capital project is our ability to provide a safer environment for all of the students that are currently in our construction technology program. Uh, when we had talked about the fact that the number of students in the program has increased significantly over the past couple of years, um, as you can imagine, uh, we have also had issues with you know, the amount of space that's available for students to be able to, to work with so much equipment um, and different types of machinery. So this uh, project will give us an opportunity to really spread things out um, and provide a safer environment for all of our students. I guess to put it in its most simplest form, um, the program has really um, experienced a lot of success for, for various reasons and uh, we've just simply outgrown our space here. Um, it's been quite a while since we've had any sort of expansion or, or updating anything like that um, and uh, so that's been something that we wanted to address. Uh, again, the program's been successful. Um, we are also trying to change the scope of what we do. Um, we've changed from that kind of more traditional woodworking kind of building birdhouse um, small project type stuff to trying to give the kids a more real world experience doing larger scale uh, work um, we have experienced a lot of success with our off-site program our seniors uh, go go off-site with built uh, various sheds uh, garages um, horse barn decks we're working on a deck right now Having them have that real world experience has been really beneficial and we would like to try and find a way to allow them to experience that at the, at the lower grade level as well. If we can give our, our 9th, 10th and 11th graders more space, um, we can give them a little bit larger scale projects. Uh, we can give them the opportunity to be more self-directed. Uh, so as opposed to that traditional didactic instruction where students are, are sitting there listening to the teacher and kind of working on very small um, projects or they're given the space to kind of roam around and the freedom to um, to create on their own and to be more self-directed. For a variety of reasons we've experienced a lot of success over the past uh, 10 or 11 years. Uh, the community has been very supportive, the administration has been very supportive, um, and they've kind of given us the freedom to uh, just get creative and um, I think that's the one thing that I really look forward to is the ability to to continue that creativity and to see uh, where we can go with this stuff you know to create those out of, out of outside the box projects outside the box experiences that kids can really get excited about so moving into this uh, upcoming capital project, we are extremely excited to be able to have the opportunity to update a space that will give our students uh, a significant experience that will help to prepare them for this important career pathway as they move outside of high school and into life beyond.